This is eight minutes of useless information about Kate and Lucy from NCIS Hawaii. Lucy keeps a backup right shoe in her car. I was running late, but I had a backup shoe in the car, so all good. This, of course, utterly confuses Kate. Don't you keep extras in the car? Yeah, of course, extras as in plural, not just one. Because she's not sure how Lucy knows which shoe she's going to need a backup for. How do you even know if you're going to lose the left or the right? Well, that's just a silly question. Um... There was an extended kiss scene for their first kiss in episode one that was cut down in the show. Thankfully, the full kiss scene has been uploaded to YouTube for us all to enjoy. Lucy has a habit of leaving things at Kate's place after sleeping over. I thought something was off. Well, um, next time it'll find its way to lost and found. Next time, huh? Forget something this morning? Hey, where'd you find it? Behind the couch. Kate is a surfer, which Lucy thoroughly enjoys watching her and her bathing suit. Um. I uh, was just looking at you, for you. The fear Kate has singing to Lucy in season one finale was real fear. I could offer you a warm embrace to make you feel my love. As incredible of a singer Tori is, she mentioned in an interview that she's not a fan of singing in front of people. Lucy is a very skilled hand-to-hand -hand combat and is currently teaching Kate how to handle herself. I can tell you're holding back, so come and get it. Though there is usually more, um, you know, sexy eyes than teaching in these classes. Well, now you're just trying to turn me on. Kate and Lucy have a special smile when they're with each other. Tori and Yasmin auditioned for the roles of Kate and Lucy over Zoom. Because of this audition process, no one knew how big the height difference would be. Tori is five foot eight and Yasmin is five foot three. Because of this, Tori had to start wearing flats and Yasmin had to start standing on boxes in some scenes. You can see that Yasmin is standing on a box in this scene as you can really see their height difference in the wide shot. But on close-ups, uh, Yasmin is nearly the same height as Tori. Kate's full name is Catherine Marie Whistler. Catherine Marie Whistler, listen to me, you are amazing. NCIS Hawaii is the first NCIS show that has a queer agent from the very start of the show. We will be seeing more of Kate's apartment in season two. This was confirmed by Tori in a recent interview. Uh, it is rumored that Lucy will be moving into Kate's apartment in 205 as she's in the process of moving places. Tori confirmed in an interview that neither Kate and Lucy will be going anywhere in season two. Season one was rough for Casey with the breakup, but Tori mentioned uh, even in the rough times, Kate and Lucy will still be there. They are both committed to making it work. Kate can't help but pine over Lucy when they are broken up. Oh, it's such a good film. About the power of love. So you and Lucy seem Better. Yeah, you think? Did she say? No. Girl, get up. Lucy is a very protective person when it comes to Kate. You have to go after her. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere. Neither are you. Oh, I'm, I'm fine, just some bruises. Oh, and some minor head trauma. You put the compress back on your jaw. I'm fine, Lucy. Nothing is fine. I mean, you could have been killed. All right. Put the compress on the jaw. Yeah, got it. Kate likes to drink her wine out of mason jars. And I like Pinot Grigio. And mason jars for cups. Even though she does own wine glasses. Lucy loves how excited Kate gets over matching her belt to her boots. You were standing right there when I got dressed today. Mm -hmm. And you were so excited to match your belt to your boots. Kate and Lucy hook up for the first time before the show started. And you told me you and Whistler had gotten together before this. Lucy sometimes went to a local bar and wouldn't tell people the whole truth about who she was or where she worked. She meets Kate there for the first time as Kate is there for work and they hook up. One day this unbelievably beautiful woman walks into the bar and orders dinner. Six months later, Kate has been transferred to Hawaii and they find out that they're working with each other. So they decide to put um, their relationship on the back burner and keep it professional. That is, of course, until we get to episode one. Lucy is a jealous person. Alina, huh? She's one of the most impressive operatives I've ever seen. She's okay, I guess, for someone who got caught and all. 
Kate doesn't like pineapple. Kate is the only person in the world who doesn't like pineapples mm. and she loves to make her bed as soon as she leaves it. Kate was secretive about her relationship with Lucy to begin with because she did have a current girlfriend. But at least I know now why you work so hard to keep secrets. I've been your side piece. But as we got to know Kate better throughout the show, we learned that she's also a super private person. I figured at some point I'd find my way open up again, but never did. When her brother died in Iraq, she put up walls and closed herself off to people. Lucy was the first person to get her to start opening up herself again. Kate turned down a promotion for Lucy so she could stay in Hawaii. They wanted her in a management role in DC. Whistler wanted to stay in Hawaii. Kate uh, starts the show off with a team that doesn't have her back or want to get a beer with her at the end of the day. She mentions this to Lucy in season one. You're lucky, you know, your team, your boss. You have each other's backs and you still want to get a beer at the end of the day. I'm sorry, you don't have that. Jumping to season two and she's introducing her girlfriend to her work colleagues for the very first time in her life at a work barbecue gathering. We, we love growth. Kate is a pacer when she is nervous. You can see her pacing in the background when Lucy's cover is blown in her first undercover mission. Lucy takes her frustrations out on little old ladies at coffee shops. We have been standing in this line for 20 minutes. How can you not know what you want to order? Told her that, huh? Mm -hmm. Keep little old ladies in check at the coffee shop. Well, she was old enough to know better. Honesty is incredibly important to Lucy. This is what led to Casey's breakup as Kate had not been honest with her about her current girlfriend at the time. There are a lot of chances that really, that, um, that I'm willing to take. You're no longer one of them. Lucy is afraid of the ocean. Yeah, you know, it's just endless water, black nothingness below. But did not hesitate for one second to get on board a boat to save Kate from her undercover mission. Lucy is also a uh, sarcastic shit. <laughs> sure, sure. We can uh, forget about the past and how you lied to me, broke my heart and just pretend it didn't happen. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. Which part did I get wrong? Kate and Lucy are completely in love. I'll be right here with you. Always. Lucy knows Kate's schedule off by heart. It's 6 a.m. on a Saturday. How should I know where she is? 6 a.m. on a Saturday, I know exactly where she is. Tori Anderson confirmed in an interview that season two, Kate and Lucy will be working on their communication and will be getting to enjoy very domestic Casey this season. Domestic Lucy is hot. <laughs> Lucy is ticklish behind her right knee. Lucy is really ticklish behind her right knee. Kate is a total loner. There's nothing wrong with being a loner. And Lucy adores that about her. Lucy loves breakfast for dinner. <laughs> Who doesn't love breakfast for dinner or after dinner snack? And last but most importantly, Kate and Lucy are absolutely gorgeous together. And we totally love Tori and Yasmin for that. So that was eight minutes of useless information about Kate and Lucy. Let me know who I should do next. Okay, bye.